Aloha, my name is Adil Giasi, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about kava. This is extra fine grind kava root from the Hamakua coast in Hawaii. It's about three to four years old, and we are gonna make a kava drink out of it. As you can see, it's ground up real fine. This is a traditional kava bowl from Fiji. Kava has many, many names in Polynesia. Uh, in Fiji, it's known as Yangona. In Hawaii, it's known as Ava. It's been consumed for almost 3,000 years in Melanesia and Polynesia. The benefits range anything from muscle relaxation to relax the body, to really calm the nerves. So today we're going to make kava traditional style. With just pure water and some kava in a strainer bag. What you do is you take the water and you put it on the strainer bag and get it nice and wet. As you can see, the color of the water is really light, but when you get the bag in and then you squeeze it, you can see the color of the water changes. It's important to do this to kava and not treat it like coffee, meaning just run it through a filter and be done with it, because every time you squeeze it, the color of the water changes. So you're extracting the kava into the liquid itself. It takes about two to five minutes to just squeeze the kava and extract it into the water. There are other ways to do it. One can soak it overnight in cold water in the refrigerator and get to it the next day. And I personally believe that kava should not be boiled and very hot water should not come into contact with it. Cold extractions, I think, are much better. And they're tastier. This is a fully grown plant. As you can see, it's, it's a little taller than me. There are two parts to the kava plant that are used for traditional ceremonies and drinking and all kinds of products. The corn, which is a central stalk, part of the rootstock system here, and of course the lateral roots, which run along the ground parallel to the ground almost. It's also been used for something called Ho'oponopono in Hawaii, where you're trying to make peace with one another. It's very hard to start a fight on kava because you just get calm and relaxed and one can really hear oneself. It's, uh, one feels present, yet also ready to be receptive. It's not a very heavy duty experience per se, because you really feel just like yourself. Um, it's nothing like alcohol or marijuana or any other drug that it's been compared to because kava simply does not take you away to another place. At best, it's like having 10 or 20 cups of chamomile tea, which help you relax and go to bed. Um, it's very, it's 100% natural and and there's no real additives or herbicides and pesticides that need to be put on it. It loves Hawaii and it grows very freely here. The more you massage the kava into the water, the more oily it gets. And it's just like thick water. It's just thick water with particles of, uh, of kava in it, suspended. They do not dissolve in the water, so it's important to keep stirring the kava and when offered to someone, it's important to drink it right away in one gulp. Mahalo. And I like the idea of what some people were saying, you know, mixing it with like a little bit of coconut water or whatnot, you know what I mean? Because to me, I've got a sweet tooth. Yeah. So, but it, it, it really tastes very woody. You know, very earthy. Yeah. Um, I'm going a little numb right now. No. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a sign of good kava. You get is numb it? right away. Right away? Immediately, your good. mouth gets numb. Uh, coconut water is very good with kava. Okay. It balances the electrolytes. Kava is a diuretic. Okay. And um, when you drink it with coconut water, it really balances the how your body absorbs it, too. Fresher is better. Fresher is better. Always yeah. better because it's more aromatic. I mean, even if you smell this kava right here, Smell that. Okay. See how aromatic that is? Yeah. How how old do the plants have to be before they have mature roots? You know, they say two years, but <clears throat> I think four to five years. Mm -hmm. 
I've had kava that's 25 years old. That's the oldest root and the older it gets, the more potent it gets, the, the smoother it gets. And I, I just love old kava. I love it. It's, uh, it's delicious. It's uh, easy to drink. Mm, it's very nice. It's very nice. Uh, we've been at the Hilo Farmers Market for several years now. And I really hope and pray that more people can see the benefits of such a, a powerful and beneficial plant for themselves. It's such a natural way to heal such uh, things that require heavy, heavier medication like anxiety and sleeplessness. Kava is actually uh, really good for people who, uh, who have addictions to substances. Kava does not have a reward system with your brain. So when you have kava, you don't want more and more and more kava. There, there's an, there is a break off. You can drink kava all day and the next day be like, I don't need any. So that's a really powerful thing for me personally, that I'm not seeking it out when I'm not drinking it. And that was a big, big plus for me to get into the kava business. Other than that, it is so relaxing. And I, I tell a lot of people who've never tried it, who've come from the mainland and they're all, you know, they're all wound up and they're trying to relax. And I tell them, have some kava and it'll bring you on Hawaiian time.